Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over spot mode sound placement, working on a uh, video with sound effects. We want to be able to quickly, easily line up each of these sounds with the corresponding scenes in the video without a lot of trial and error, nudging and moving things around. So um, working on right now a samurai battle scene. So lots of flying bows and arrow type fighting and swords and that kind of thing. So right now the sound that we're going to look at is a bunch of freely um, distributed and downloaded from zapsplat.com uh, sounds. It's a little cartoony, but it's uh, fun and it kind of gets the point across without taking things too seriously. So these four different sounds is what I'm going to use and we're gonna lay those in. So first things first, let's take a look at what we have right here. We don't need video right now because the sound is not in place. So we're gonna just listen to these sounds only. There you go. That sounds like a really awesome arrow. So it's basically a bunch of whooshing sounds, um, all just kind of laid in there for now. This one right here is the important one because this one has the impact sound in it. As we look at the waveform, we can see where that impact sound happens. Okay, leading up to right here, this is the beginning of the impact. So if I just play from here and solo this, we can hear that is where it hits. Okay, so since all four of these sounds are essentially going to meld together and mix into one single sound, I want to do that ahead of time. It just makes things easier for me later. So if we have all of our tracks selected and go up to clip and choose group or option Apple G, that is now a clip group. It's all one thing. So if I move this around, it all goes together. If I select one, they all select. Now, let's go back in here and we want to find this spot in the sound that's the real important part that has to line up okay so we are going to mark that section with a sync point so you can either do command and comma or go to clip and identify sync point okay command comma now you can see right here there is a little green downward facing triangle at the bottom of the clip group that's going to be our sync point for that group. Now, I've already set up some marker locations. Okay, so I have the start and end of the clip I'm working on, and I have the point where the arrow actually uh, happens. So now, I need to get the video back, and we need to use our scrubber tool. So with the scrubber tool active, we're going to click and drag anywhere in the timeline, anywhere at all. And this is the arrow about to fly that we're looking for here. So this is the point where it gets drawn back. Now it's in the air. And right there is the hit. Okay, so I'm going to scrub that back until the point where it actually impacts. Okay, let's say right about here. Okay, so now we're gonna take note of our time. Okay, I've already have this set to minutes and seconds, and this is one minute 44.830 seconds. So we wanna write that down, and then we're gonna come back over here to our sound itself. We're gonna use the hand tool or the smart tool is fine go into spot mode, and all we need to do at this point is click with the hand tool on our audio that has the sync point in it. Once that, hang on. Once that pops up, the sync point dialog um, or start sync point and end can be set here. We're worried about setting the sync point in the spot dialog. 
So our time was 1.44.830. And we hit enter. And our sound shifts directly over to where the sync point that we created lines up with the time that we established in our uh, scrubbing. And now if I play the sound along with the video, we get this. Got him.